Okay, so this is the key to rational expressions number five. And so let's go ahead and look at number one. So in these, then there are four problems here, and you want to add or subtract as indicated. So let's look at number one. So number one, we have x divided by x squared plus 6x plus 8. And I want to add this rational expression to this one. And this one is 4 divided by x squared plus 6x plus 8. So notice that these two rational expressions have the same denominator. So right away, I can write this as one rational expression with that denominator. Okay? And then, since this is an addition problem, the numerator is just going to be x plus 4. Okay, now, remember, though, you need to make sure that, that you've simplified this rational expression that you have. So, therefore, we need to factor. So, if you look at the denominator, the numerator I cannot factor, but if you look at the denominator, it looks like I can factor this as x plus 4 times x plus 2. All right, and then now you reduce any common factors. And remember, you must show those factors that are being reduced. And so the answer is going to be 1 divided by x plus 2. So that's answer number 1. So 1 divided by x plus 2. And there's the work. You have to show that work. Okay? All right, number 2, we have this in number 2. Okay, so number 2. We have um, x squared minus 2x minus 30 divided by 3x minus 24 plus 2x plus 2 divided by 24 minus 3x. Okay, now, what you have to notice here is that the denominators are not the same, but they are opposites of each other. So you need to use that idea. Use the idea of opposites. So these are opposites. And so when you use the idea of opposites, the approach is this. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you use, but let's use that second uh, denominator. So, so from here, I can factor out a negative 1. And when I factor out a negative 1 from, from this uh, denominator, that factor that you're going to see here will be this. So watch. Negative 1 times 3x minus 24. This factor and this factor should be the same. And let's check. Negative 1 times 3x is a negative 3x. Negative 1 times a negative 24 is a positive 24. Okay? And so now what happens is that, remember, you factor out negative 1, right? So now you're, you have, you're, you're adding the, the opposite of this rational expression now. So which means you're subtracting. So this becomes, this becomes x squared minus 2x minus 30 divided by 3x minus 24 minus 2x plus 2 divided by 3x minus 24. Okay? So now notice the denominators are now the same. So I'm going to write this as one rational expression. Now, you have to be careful, though, because this is subtraction. And when you're subtracting a polynomial with more than one term, you need to put this in parentheses. So we get x squared minus 2x minus 30 minus, in parentheses, 2x plus 2. And now we're going to get rid of the parentheses, so use the distributive property, or just think of this as, think of subtracting this polynomial as adding the opposite of every term. So I get x squared minus 2x minus 30, and this becomes a negative 2x, and the opposite of 2 is a negative 2, so negative 2x minus 2, divided by 3x minus 24. Then combining like terms in the numerator, it looks like I get x squared, a negative 2x, and a negative 2x is a, is a negative 4x, a negative 30, and a negative 2 is a negative 32, divided by 3x minus 24. Okay, now once you get to that point, what is, that you, what is it that you have to do next? Do you remember? I have this rational expression, so you have to simplify. So to simplify, you got to factor and then reduce any common factors. So in the numerator, I can factor this trinomial as, um, it looks like x plus, oh, x minus 8, right? x minus 8 times x plus 4, okay? And in the denominator, it looks like I can factor out a 3, so I get 3 times x minus 8. And now notice I can reduce the x minus 8, so you must show that those are being reduced. you got to show that. Ones, factors of 1's in their place. Because remember, x minus 8 divided by x minus 8 is 1. And so therefore... Therefore, I get 1 times x plus 4 is x plus 4, 
divided by 3 times 1 is 3. And so there's your answer. So x plus 4 divided by 3. So that was number 2. So number 2, x plus 4 divided by 3. Okay, now let's look at number 3. So number 3, I have this for number 3. So I have 4 divided by x squared minus 12x plus 32. And I'm adding this rational expression, 7 plus x squared minus x minus 12. Okay, notice that, that um, these two rational expressions, the denominators are not the same, and they're not opposites either. So what you got to do is, is you got to find the least common denominator, because in, 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 in order to combine two rational expressions into one, your denominators must be the same. So that's how we were able, that's how we were able to rewrite this as one rational expression. Okay? So, so the, notice though that my denominators are, are trinomials, so you need a factor. You've got to factor these trinomials to see what your least common denominator is. So let's go ahead and factor this. So I'm going to get, um, I'm going to factor it right underneath. So I'm going to get uh, x, uh, let's say I need 32. So that's going to be x minus 8, x plus, uh, oops, x minus 4, right? Over here, when I factor that, that's going to be uh, x minus 4, x plus 3. Okay, so now your least common denominator must include every factor you see now. I see an x minus 8, I have to use it. The question is how many do I need though? I have one factor in this denominator. I don't have any in this denominator, so I just need one. The next factor is x minus 4. How many do I need? I have one factor here, I have one factor here, I just need that one. The next factor is x minus 4, I already, I've already taken care of it. The next factor is x plus 3, I must use it. And all I need is just, I need, I have one here, I don't have any here, I just need one. Okay? So therefore, that's your least common denominator. So your least common denominator has three factors. So now what you're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this now. So you have 4 divided by x minus 8 times x minus 4, plus 7 divided by x minus 4, times x plus 3. So all I did was I rewrote the original problem with the, with the denomination factored form. Okay, now, remember, you, these, these still don't have the same denominator. This is your LCD, so you got to somehow rewrite each of these fractions using this denominator, okay? So your next step is to is to go ahead and find an equivalent fraction for this that has the LCD as a denominator. So x minus 8, x minus 4, x plus 3. The same thing here. x minus 8, x minus 4, x plus 3. Okay? And it's very easy to do. Okay? So, so you can even do it here if you want to. So look, you're trying to find equivalent fractions, right? And so, um, if, if you uh, need to kind of do this on the side, that's fine. But look, we have, we have 4 divided by x minus 8 times x minus 4, okay? And I want to write an equivalent fraction with this denominator, x minus 8, x minus 4, x plus 3. And so the question is, what do I need to multiply this rational expression by to get a denominator that's this? And so notice I'm missing, I have these two factors, I'm missing the x plus 3. So I multiply by x plus 3. But what I do to the denominator, I do to the numerator, right? And so, and so this right here will be 4 times x plus 3. The point is, though, you don't have to go off to the side and do all of this. You can think about what, what you have or what factor is missing. So, so notice, I'm going to put this in red. So notice I am missing a factor of x plus 3. But if I multiply the denominator by x plus 3, I've got to multiply the numerator by x plus 3. So those are parentheses. And so this becomes this now, which is what we had here. So th this, would have been, this would have been 4 times x plus 3. And so this is this, 4 times x plus 3. Okay? And then over here, if you want to do the same thing we did here, you would say, okay, I am missing, let's say I have an x minus 4, I have an x plus 3, I'm missing the x minus 8. So I need to multiply this by x minus 8. But what I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator, right? Because remember, this still has to be a, 
a 1. Anything divided by itself is a 1. And so this becomes 7 times x minus 8. So 7 times x minus 8. Okay, now, once you get to that point, once you get to that point, you, what you want to do, just like we did in, in a previous uh, worksheet, you need to distribute. You need to get rid of these parentheses in the numerator. Leave the denominator factored. Always leave the denominator factored. In fact, you, you really don't want to multiply three binomials together. So then I get 4x plus 12 divided by the LCD plus 7x distribute, 7x minus 56 divided by the LCD. Okay, and now you're going to write it as one rational expression. So I get the LCD, x minus 8, x minus 4, x plus 3. And then my numerator will be this plus this. And I don't need parentheses because, you're, because I'm adding. So this will be 4x plus 12 plus 7x minus 56. Okay? And so let's, let's combine like terms in the numerator. So, so I'm going to get 4x plus 7x is 11x. 12 and a negative 56 is a negative 44 divided by x minus 8, x minus 4, x plus 3. And then notice, remember, you want to you want to simplify your rational expression, so you need to make sure that, that you factor everything completely and then see if they have any common factors. The denominators are the denominators are already factored. The numerator is not, because notice I can factor out an eleven. So I get eleven times x minus four divided by x minus eight, x minus four, x plus three. And then notice I can factor out these x minus 4s. And so the answer will be 11 times 1 is 11 divided by these two factors, the product of these two factors, x minus 8, x plus 3. And again, leave it in factored form. Don't multiply these two binomials out. And that's your answer. So notice number 3 is a little involved, okay? And you could have easily messed up along the way, but be careful. Be careful as you go along the way. All right, so that was so number 11. Uh, I'm sorry, number 3. The answer is 11 divided by x minus 8, x plus 3. All right? Okay, now let's look at number, number uh, 4. Okay, number 4, we have this. So, so we have, in number 4, we have 20 divided by x squared minus 8x plus 12. And you're subtracting this rational expression, 5, divided by x squared minus 5x plus 6. So again, notice that these denominators are not the same and they're not opposites. So, so we got to find the LCD. So to find the LCD, you need to factor first, factor the denominators. So when I factor these denominators, it looks like what this one's going to be factored as, as x minus 6 times x minus 2. And this one will be factored as x minus 3 times x minus 2. And so therefore, the LCD must include every distinct factor you see. So I see an x minus 6. I need to use an x minus 6 in the LCD. I see an x minus 2. I've got to use it. I see an x minus 3. I have to use it. I see an x minus 2. I already have it. So there's your LCD. It's just those three factors multiplied together. So what I'm going to do now is just rewrite the original problem using the factored denominator. So I get 20 divided by x minus 6 times x minus 2 minus 5 divided by x minus 3 times x minus 2. Okay? And so what I want to do now is before, remember, in order to write this as one rational expression, you've got to have the denominators being the same. So I've got to find a equivalent fractions that has this denominator. So let's see, we have, so we have the LCD is x minus 6, x minus 2, x minus 3, minus, and then x minus 6, x minus 2, x minus 3. Okay, so now, remember we're writing equivalent fractions. So here's what I have, this is what I want to get. So which of these factors here, I don't see here. So let's see, I see an x minus 6, I see an x minus 2, but I don't see an x minus 3. 
So that means I've got to multiply the denominator and the numerator by x minus 3. So this numerator becomes this now, 20 times x minus 3. Okay. So now I've got to find equivalent fraction for this that has this denominator. So to do that, I'm going to multiply the denominator by the missing factor, so it looks like I'm missing x minus 6. But what I do to the denominator, I do to the numerator, and so now my numerator will be 5 times x minus 6. Okay, in parentheses. Okay, now before I write this as one rational expression, because now the denominators are the same, let's go ahead and clear, uh, get rid of the parentheses in the, in the numerators. But leave the denominators factored. And remember, there, there was a reason for that, because, because right here, the reason we left it factored is because at the end I could still reduce. Okay, so leave it factored. Okay, so I get um, in the numerator, that's going to be 20x minus 60 divided by, and then again, leave the denominator factored, x minus 6, x minus 2, x minus 3, right? And then I'm subtracting, oops, sorry, okay, let me do this. Um, okay, x minus 6, x minus 2, x minus 3. All right, so then I'm going to be subtracting, okay, this numerator is going to be 5x minus 30. Okay, now I'm going to write as one rational expression. So with that denominator, so my denominator is x minus 6, x minus 2, x minus 3. Okay, now you got to be careful with the numerator because that's a subtraction. So you're subtracting all of these terms here. So when you rewrite it, 20x minus 60, when you subtract, you got to put the numerator in parentheses. So that's 5x minus 30. And then distribute the negative or take the opposite. So this becomes 20x minus 60. The opposite of 5x is a negative 5x. The opposite of a negative 30 is a positive 30. Divided by, again, leave this factored in the denominator. All right, so that's your LCD in the denominator. Okay, now combining like terms in the numerator, we get 20x minus 5x is 15x. A negative 60 plus 30 is a negative 30 divided by x minus 6 x minus 2, x minus 3. Now remember the last step you got to do is see if you can simplify this. So let's factor the numerator. My denominator is already factored. It's my numerator. I got to see if I can factor it further. And I can because both of these terms I can factor out of 15. So you got 15 times x minus 2 divided by x minus 6, x minus 2 times x minus 3. And then the question is can I reduce. So remember, the, uh, uh, we always said, always leave the denominator factor because in the end, you may be able to factor, I'm sorry, you may be able to reduce further. So the x minus 2 is divided out, and so you get 15 divided by this factor times this factor. So x minus 6 times x minus 3. All right, so that's the answer to number 4. So number 4, we have, we have uh, 15 divided by x minus 6 times x minus 3. Okay, so that is the key to worksheet number 5.